Thank you, Speaker. I would like to ask the Minister for Education to confirm again, although I think he might have uh, said so just now, that the VDS measures will not be applied to the children below 12 years old for as long as it is, and maybe at least until the non-mRNA vaccines are available for the kids, because there's a strong uh, request from the parents that at least there should be more choices for vaccines. And if that is, and if the VDS measures are going to be applied, will not be applied to the children, then all the practices, I also receive feedback from residents that some teachers have already practiced VDS measures in schools. So can the minister confirm that if the teachers are practicing that or any of the officers in the schools are practicing that, that is against government policy at the moment? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, can I seek a clarification from Mr. Leong Wan Wai and further information on which schools and what VDS measures have which teachers been practicing, please? Minister, I, uh, Speaker, uh, the, the resident who have uh, uh, feedback to me are on my uh, uh, WhatsApp messages. Can I refer to the messages and then I give a reply uh, later? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would really appreciate if Mr. Leong Wan, Leong Wan Wai can give me the information of which teacher in which school has practiced what VDS measures so that we can take the feedback seriously and then look into the necessary follow-up if possible. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, if I may just repeat my answer in case Mr. Leong Wan Wai wasn't around just now when I answered this. My specific answer was that at this point in time, we have no plans on applying any VDS in our school. And that's because, for the reasons that I've mentioned, we want, as far as possible, for our students to be able to participate in the core curriculum in the school activities. For certain selected activities that may be deemed of a higher risk, we may in consider applying specific measures for them. And I have raised two very specific examples. One, for example, students participating in the playing of wind instruments or the choir, and two, students participating in uh, sports activities that may require physical contact or close physical contact. And I also caveated my explanation by saying that, of course, we will have to look at the overall national posture and how the virus will continue to evolve for us to adjust our policies accordingly. Thank you.